Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, as you can tell, we are coming from Washington's premier indoor shooting facility, Security Gun Club, right here. But listen, what I want to talk to you guys about today is a momentous event which took place last week. Had very little fanfare, but it's a huge deal because it tips a huge balance of power one way and it's something that we all should be very aware of and very proud of. It's happened down in the state of Florida and I will tell you as a Washington resident I do have a little case of governor envy. So today let's spend a few minutes and talk about when more than half the states say to hell with concealed carry licensing. Okay, before we get to going too far down the road, we are going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Security Gun Club. That's right, this place right here. Hey, listen, you've heard me bragging about the facility and it is awesome. You've heard me bragging about the people and they are terrific and you've heard me bragging about the training, but I wanna talk to you about two events coming up. First of all, you practice all the time at ranges such as Security Gun Club to stay out of the morgue, but what do you do to practice to stay out of prison? Well, maybe you ought to take a refresher class on the basics of self-defense law in Washington State. Sign up for that class Wednesday, April 9th. 19th, right here at Security Gun Club at 5.30, taught by yours truly. But what I'm really proud to announce is Friday, April 28th, right here at Security Gun Club, we will have our first ever Freedom Friday. That's right, we're going to have guest speakers, a lot of reps from various products, all sorts of giveaways, contests, everything you can think of, all to raise money. Why? Because we got to give it to the Silent Majority Foundation because we got lots of lawsuits to file at the end of this legislative session. So join us on Friday, April 28th, right here at Security Gun Club for Freedom Friday. For more information, visit my good friends at securitygunclub.com. Yes, that is security with an E, securitygunclub.com. Okay, so many of you may have heard this and some of you may have not because it was done with very little fanfare and I think this is because it's a governor who candidly likes to pride himself on results and not so much on the fanfare and the hubbub that goes with everything, but instead on actually obtaining results for his citizens, I'm referring to Governor Ron DeSantis of the great state of Florida because as we know, last week, Governor DeSantis signed into legislation a bill which becomes effective July 1st of this year, which makes Florida a constitutional carry state. Now, two big things. First of all, what's so huge about that? Well, that makes Florida now the 26th state in the United States to have constitutional carry, which means we now have more than half of the states in the United States of constitutional carry. What is constitutional carry? Constitutional carry is a legislative scheme or a lack of legislative scheme, actually, whereby a person is allowed to conceal carry a firearm if they are otherwise lawfully allowed to possess a firearm. And there is no licensing, no background checks, no safety training, no anything. It is essentially, if you are lawfully allowed to possess a firearm, then you are lawfully allowed to carry that firearm. There are many people who believe that that in its truest sense is in fact how the second amendment should work. Now, if you wanna talk about historical analogs, go ahead and check out this video here because we did go through a litany of state constitutions and we will see that there is a rich historical tradition in many states dating back to when they joined statehood where they have been permitted to restrict the ways in which people carry arms or sometimes the locations in which they carry arms. Now, nothing is permitted such as what New York does, but there has been some constitutional permissibilities. Now, what Florida has done here, and this is interesting because as you can imagine, the minute Governor DeSantis signed this bill, uh, every town and mom's demand action and all of that was just certain that the slaughter would begin on the streets of Tampa and Miami in no time flat. Um, and there were many people saying that this was gonna make the state of Florida less safe. Now, the truth of the matter is, is then you can check this data for yourself, is that when you take a look at CDC data on mortality by homicide, and you compare that with constitutional carry states, you will see, shockingly, there is no correlation. And a couple of the states that seem to have some of the largest homicide problems, New York and Illinois come to mind, also happen to have some of the strictest gun laws. So what's that tell you? But as much as Governor DeSantis was criticized by those on the gun grabbing left, there were those gun rights groups which were equally disappointed thinking that Ron DeSantis did not go far enough with this legislation, that he had enough political clout to do even more to advance gun rights because this legislation, once it becomes effective on July 1st, will allow people to conceal carry without a license, but the open carry of firearms will still not be permitted without licensing in the state of Florida. 
Now, to go to show you what a hodgepodge of laws we have around the country, Washington State, which by no measure is ever going to be known as a very pro-Second Amendment state, actually has a licensing regime what called shall issue, which is if you qualify to possess a firearm, you will get your concealed carry license. However, in Washington State, we do not require any license whatsoever to open carry. The state of Florida works otherwise. Now, also, you need to be aware of that the state of Florida is not doing away with their licensing requirement. If individuals want to go through the old licensing requirement in the state of Florida, which may be exactly what you need to do if you want to get reciprocity in other states, and this depends on where your geographical location is and where you may be traveling, but there, the Florida licensing regime will remain in effect. So there are still opportunities to go get licensed in the old fashioned to take all the safety classes and that likely would open doors for reciprocity with other states. But the big news, the big news to come from this is that Florida now becomes the 26th state to have constitutional carry, meaning a majority of the states are of constitutional carry. The bigger picture issue is this is that we are beginning to see what I call a political stratification of our country. That is, is that everything is clearly dividing either extremely right or extremely left, especially when it comes to gun laws. And let me explain to you what I mean. We see now 26 states advancing the rights of gun owners through constitutional carry, saying essentially that if you are otherwise lawfully allowed to possess a firearm, you can carry that firearm. I personally believe that that is how we exercise our Second Amendment rights. Yet on the same token, you got 24 more states that are doing quite the opposite. They are thumbing their nose at the United States Supreme Court. They are thumbing their nose at the Constitution, both federal and state, and they are passing legislation after legislation after legislation that they know to be constitutionally impermissible, and yet they're doing it anyways. And there appears to be no middle ground on this issue. And that is a problem that is gonna persist not only in the Second Amendment arena, but many other areas of this country for years to come. Listen, congratulations to the state of Florida and to all the lawful and responsible gun owners down there. Congratulations to the Florida State Legislature and their governor, who unlike what we experience here in Washington State, actually protects and secures the rights of the individuals. Listen, you may have more questions, about what's happening in Florida or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. If you do, you should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now, but if you don't, hey, all of that information is in the description box down below. In the meantime, I want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.